Now I will stand in on a golf bar. Why will eyes the Crown Christian Fellowship for a song while the preacher for today coming on stage? Says, I'm going 
to get some room. And so we'll be here. And I will come back within one or two minutes. And when he went, he saw a jinnah at the front or back or whatever in the face of a bush. And so he heard a sign and he called and said, Who is there? And then Jinnah said, He said, My name, Tesh and me. Hallelujah. Amen. So the people said, Are you sure that if I touch you, I will live? He said, Just touch me and you will live. And so he stretched his hand and then moved forward, moved close to that Gina. And then he touched the Gina and all of the joint, all of the bone came to a stone and he started to jump up and start to praise God's name. And that's how you are healed in that forest. And he began jumping and then coming back to his friend, rejoicing and giving praises and honor to God. And when his friend of the black man heard him, he said, but who are you? Is that somebody from the village? He said, no, no one from the village, but I'm your friend. But I'm with you, my healing. And today, I saw somebody. And who is that somebody? Jesus is getting close to you. And whenever you stretch your hand and follow the instructions of the Lord, you will live. Hallelujah. Amen. Can you take me there so that I too can receive my healing? The people that say no problem, I will take our people shame whenever we get by so that those who are laughing at us, those who criticize us, and those who don't want to see us at times, we change the mind we know and say, oh, how are you? And so take me there. And he heard the blind man hand and took him there. He said, remain here. And whenever you hear the song, what I want you to do, listen to the song. Listen to the instruction, go by the instruction, and do what the man tells you to do. Hallelujah. Amen. And so when he left the blind man, within one minute time, the blind man heard a sound. And he called and said, who are you? And the Gina says, I am touch and live. Are you sure if I touch you, I will live exactly when you touch me? You will live. And so the blind man went close and then went after getting to touch the jinnah and then he will dress back. Because what? You want to hold the jinnah with the whole mind so that the eyes and everything on him will lose him. Oh, yes. Hello. Ah. And in a sudden he said, but you said why you need to touch your legs? He said, but Joe, if I touch you, I will live. He said, touch me. And when you go to the jinnah, then he will dress back. But remember when he dressed back because he's blind and the push will come up. And he'll be dressing back, dressing back until he reached to the village to where his friend is. And so when his friend here, he said, well, who are you? He said, I'm the one, but he said, but you saw the man that I told you? He said, yeah, I want to grab the man, but he said, but your foot is already in our shoe pen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. This story, brothers and sisters, is related to you and myself, those of you who are not yet recognized as God. You are still dressing back and you are not ready to get connected to God. The push is covering you. Time will come that there will be no way that when you call God, God will turn him back to you. Just go and leave. Believe me, God. Believe also in Christ. In God's house are many rooms. If they were not so, they would have told us. All we need to do is to get close and go far to God so that we can live. Don't let your habit drop. Believe in God and believe also in the Lord. May God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank our pastor, our brother, for the powerful message. It is time that we invite our national president, president of the Evangelical Lutheran Church, Labrador Sino, in person of Reverend Nathaniel T. Taylor, for a special prayer for the family. Heavenly Father, we thank you again today for this time you give it to us to be able to gather here in this house. And you have surrounded your hands around us too today in this very house. 
Whatever thing was spoken here today, especially from your word, Lord, let it rest in our hearts. But in a special way, I want to pray for the children and the family members of our late father, our uncle, our deacon, and our hero, who has left this world today and coming back to you. We pray that you give them counsel in their hearts. We pray that everything that is about trial and temptation, Lord, we ask it to go far away from them. Because that's why you want all on the cross. Before you went there, Lord, you had these three temptations. And because you love us so much, you pass the test in the three temptations. So that when we are tempted too, we look up to you. When we are tried in every other way, we look up to you. When someone is coming against us in whatever way, you were quiet even at the point of your dying. You never spoke a word. It is because of us. So that we won't speak a word and only say, well, Lord, you are there. And for sure, he's there. So today, I call on you, Lord, to get to their parents' homes, wherever they will be, in their walls, in their work. This is our acts in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Um, on behalf of the family, we must send my thanks to all of you who have been low the rain to come and see what I want today. We want to say a big thank you. By the word of announcement, <coughs> there's a bus out there waiting on the car and song. Or uh, it's for the church. And the church is filled, if the bus is filled, then of course other people will join them. But first day there's a church that's waiting for that bus. So church, your bus is right in front here, the guy on the car and song. We take the 78 pricing. After the church shall go in, then we put the other pool there. People that came with the first yellow bus from Chicago or from LPRC, they have some problems. So we draw another bus that is right out here. You go right back into that bus. And here after, we'll be going to the Nima United Field to lay our father to rest. And thereafter, we all will gather again at LPRC, where we had a wake last night. Once again, I want to say thank you for coming and thank you in Jesus' name.
question was I was to state on behalf of the president to see about Master above the mighty ruler of the universe, that you are all who give, that has promised never to leave us nor forsake us. In the name we have gathered around the grave of another departed brother, more humbly beseeching thee to the blessed in our undertaking, that we may know and serve thee right. That has said to us, we are, and unto us we shall return. Therefore, we must bow in obedience to thy will and acknowledgement that thou dwell all things for the best. Ye, O oh Lord, more humbly beseech thee that any continent with thy holiness and righteousness than our brother that now lie in a silent tomb, may he be able to meet thou in peace with the world. Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Blessed. Our present is something lighting our darkness and when we shall be like our brother put it in a cold grave for our sleep and make us into that put above and deep in that name we all shall bring you honor. Amen. 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 Farewell. 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 Brethren, brothers, two, three. Thank you, brother. <coughs> On behalf of the Grand Master of UDA, <laughs> we want to say and extend our sympathy once more to the degree family. We pray God's blessing upon the soul of our deceased brother that it rest in eternal peace. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 This is the way I want to be. This is the way I want to be. This is the way I want to be. Hey, I want to be. Hey, I want to be. Hey, I want to be.